What's going on you guys? My name is Caesar, and in this video I'm going to show you everything I bought that way I could go ahead and mine the gold shell mini doge miner. I have it right here. We're going to be unboxing. We're going to look at everything I bought to go ahead and connect everything. So continue watching this video if that's what you guys are into. Okay so I bought everything over here on the Amazon side and then I got this from eBay there are cheaper places you could get it but sometimes it takes a little bit longer so I was okay with paying a little bit of that premium that way I got it right away and if you buy on eBay you guys already know that you, if it doesn't work for whatever reason you could go ahead and return it so it's a little bit more safer than paying in cryptocurrency and not getting any type of refund and you're just gonna be losing out on that money but I will leave everything down in the description box below Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the Doge Gold Shell Miner. So when I bought the Gold Shell Doge Miner, it did come with the instructions. So I do have the instructions here, and that's kind of how to set everything up to get it online and to start mining that cryptocurrency, all right? So we're going to put this off to the side for now. Let's just go ahead and open this puppy up. I do like how there's a little, like, Doge coin right there going on. And uh, the presentation is pretty nice of the box. It does have, like, that carrying handle. So I do like that. It does come with a little gold shell instruction manual. All you have to do is scan the QR code and it gives you all the instructions. So we're also going to put that off to the side. And you guys, there is not that many moving parts in here. All we bought is the actual gold shell miner. And let me pull it out. I do have it right here. I cannot wait to start earning some cryptocurrency. You guys, look at it. It is a view. On the back side, you do have the two fans right here. And then on this side, you do have the Ethernet cord. And then you do have that six port plug. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use to actually charge this up. And you guys, that's pretty much it. It is so simple. Like they do have different designs. So you can get the one that has like the, you know, that Dogecoin that's all astronauted out. And he's like ready to go to the moon. But for me, I was cool with getting a plain one. I'm not going to have it out on display or anything. So I was cool with getting just a plain one. But as you guys can see, not too many moving parts. So let's put this off to the side. So here I have the Bitmain power supply. Let me go ahead and open this up for you guys. Here I have the Bitmain power supply, you guys. You're going to need one of these to power up the Dogecoin miner. So let's go ahead and open this up so you guys could actually take a look at it. And guys, it's right here. I have it. This is the Bitmain power supply. So it is pretty heavy. And this is a little bit noisy. I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like. Here it goes. And that was a quick clip of what it sounds like. So you guys could hear it. Uh, the fans are actually going on. So you are going to hear some noise from this. Not so much the actual um, Dogecoin miner. But it's going to be more of this. And uh, you guys are going to feel like the air blowing out of it. Okay, you guys. On this side, I like to call it Medusa. Because you got all these cords here. So we do have... 10 cords here and they are the six prong some uh, people might be looking for the eight prong but this is the six prong right here so just be aware of that all right so let me turn it on this side you guys go ahead and look right here this is where you have to plug it in and depending if you guys are 110 or 220 it depends on what you what kind of cable you're going to buy i do have the cord right here i'm going to show you guys what it looks like in a second but it is that standard monitor slash computer plug okay so so if you do plug this into 220, you're going to be able to plug in more Dogecoin miners. So if you have it to 110, you can only technically plug in four. But if you have a 220, you can actually plug in eight. And as you guys know, there's 10 of them. So there is two extra. If you guys are working with 220 volts, this actually supports 1,800 watts, okay? If you guys are using 110 volts, this actually supports 1,000 watts. So each miner is 235 watts. So you could actually plug four of these without having any issues. If you plug in more than four, if you're using 110 like I'm going to be using, um, you might run into some issues and this might kind of overload. So I I would only use up to four with this but that would be the maximum so let me show you what plugs into where so i'm using this psu to plug into my gold shell 
Dogecoin miner, but there is a lot of different miners that this supports. Just want to let you guys know. So you guys see it is the six prong and all the way in the back, we do have the six prong right here. So all we're going to have to do is clip this all the way in and it clips in kind of like an ethernet cord okay so that is in it is nice and tight in here all we need to do now is connect the ethernet cord to get this up and running so next is the three pong monitor computer cord i have it right here you guys so i did buy a 10 foot cord because of where i have where i'm planning to hook everything up okay so i did buy that 10 foot cord but they do have like three feet cords they have six feet cords they have different cords and i did buy a two pack because i gave my buddy the other cord the other cord because he's actually going to be into mining too so he's going to go ahead and mine but uh for right now we just have this one right here which is 10 feet let me go ahead and roll it out for you guys okay here we go so you guys can see it is pretty long it is 10 feet like i mentioned and we're working with 110 volts this is the standard us plugs right here and then on the other side you guys do have that monitor plug right here so all we're gonna have to do to plug this in is just like so and we're gonna push this all the way in like that and you guys we are plugged and we are ready to go we could actually plug this up and get this on and going and get some start earning some cryptocurrency with our dogecoin miner right here but we are missing a different component and that's coming up right now so next we do have to hook our miner up to the internet and we do that with these ethernet cords that i have right here these are cat 8 got them off of amazon and it is a three pack you guys i bought a three pack because i plan on buying more of more miners that way i could hook them all up and then they could be all be color co coordinated and i have three right here so you guys want to take a look at it it is gold plated as you guys can see right here so it is going to be fast internet right here and that's what we want we want a fast internet speed but on top of this actually let me go ahead and roll this out so you guys could actually see one okay here we go so they are six feet in length and like i said we have three of them that way we could hook up more to it let me go ahead and just show you guys where it does connect okay right here at the bottom like so and then this goes directly into wherever you have internet if you have a router or if you have a modem i have a two-in-one router slash modem so i'm going to be plugging it in there but i do have one more thing that i'm actually um that i have right here for my whole kit and i'm getting that out right now here i have the tp link 8 gigabit splitter some people call it a switch but basically what it does is you hook up one ethernet cord to this and then you have seven other ports so you could actually plug in multiple things up to seven things right so we're going to be plugging in different miners to it so we have a couple different miners that we want to plug to it that's why i bought a set of three ethernet cords because we're going to be using up all of these ports right here and with the other ports i plan on plugging in my tv to make it you know it's a smart tv and it's on the other side where my uh, router is so you know i don't want to uh, get that choppy internet so i want to plug that in and i also have a helium miner i want to plug in so i have multiple things i want to plug in and uh, this is kind of like a starter to intermediate ethernet switch right here so you know it's gonna take a while for me to outgrow this they do have different types where there's just you guys you could get up to like 15 ports but i was okay with starting with this one so let's go ahead and open this up i did want to mention it's plug and play and that's why i got this one in particular all we have to do is you guys seriously all we have to do is plug it in and we start playing like it is that simple okay so let me show you all the moving parts we have here so we do have the power supply right here and then we have the actual splitter itself it is pretty light it's a nice sleek design i do like it has the lights in the front to let you know like if it's turned on and then it has the power switch right here so what we would do is that first port we would plug in our ethernet from our router or from our modem i have that two in one so we'll grab that we'll plug it in here and then we could actually go ahead and take one of these ethernet plugs and then we just keep plugging them in we go all the way down boom 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 so we have seven open ports right here okay so on the back side you guys could see this is where you would plug your power supply to just like that 
And like I said, you guys, it is plug and play. There's pretty much not too many moving parts with this. All we're going to do is plug it in, and I can't wait to get more internet versus just using the Wi-Fi. You guys know Wi-Fi chops in and out. I would rather have an Ethernet plug. Okay, you guys, all the way in the back, I do have the Ethernet cord hooked up. And then I also have the power supply hooked up with the six pronger right here. You guys can see it does have a green light right above the six prongs. And I'm not too sure if you guys could see, but right, right, right there on top of the ethernet cord, we do have a green and an orange light. The orange light kind of blinks every now and again. And then we do have a blue light up here. That means everything's on and running. You guys do hear a little fan. That fan noise is over here with the power supply. It is not the Doge Miner itself. This is actually pretty quiet. The loud one is going to be this fan right here. And it is nice and cool because it, is, it does have that fan that it is kicking out. I also wanted to mention that it is a 185 meta hash per second. So you guys are going to be earning some, some Dogecoin. Not too much, but you guys are going to be earning. So depending on if the Dogecoin goes up or down, depending on what it is, is you know, depending on what you guys are going to be earning per day. As you guys can see, all I did is just kind of like tuck these away and all we're using is just one and it is a pretty simple setup, you guys. Let me show you the other side. The other side, we do have the cord nice and hooked up right there. As you guys can see, and you guys can see the fan is on. So this is what it sounds like without me talking here. I do want to point out that I have a high quality microphone. So it is picking up, but um, yeah, you can hear the fan. You definitely could hear the fan noise. So let's work our way over here. We have the splitter. It's nice and hooked up. You guys could see it right here. And we do have the green lights on top. You can see the power button right here. And then you can see the lights blinking on top. That means they're connected, connected, connected. This one is not connected to anything yet. So you do not see the light right above it. This is actually just kind of like a spare cord, as you guys can see right here. So I do like, I, I mean, I like this whole setup. I like the splitter. I like all the ethernet cords that I bought right here. It was a pretty good buy. You guys could see on this side, I do have my helium miner over here on this side. So this is kind of like my little miner station over here. So that is everything that I purchased to start mining Dogecoin and you guys, do not forget that you also mine Litecoin with this. So it's Dogecoin and Litecoin. That's why I got this one so I could start mining. If you guys want to know like how much you make on a daily basis or maybe I could do a whole month. That way you guys just let me know in the comment box below and then I will do those videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just pretty much showing you guys what I bought for it. If you guys want me to do a step by step how to plug it in, how to start earning, you guys just let me know also in the comment box below and I will check you guys out in the next video.